find parking in the city, not to mention how expensive gas is these days. Well, one company is launching a new pod like vehicle that could make traveling around in urban areas just a little easier. Okay. What happened? Uh, surfing accident. Yeah. Oh, really? Yep. That's Nimbus founder Liang. And when he's not surfing or skateboarding, he's busy coming up with ways to get around town and help the environment. Something I wanted to work on and I, and I thought uh, climate change was, you know, one of the most important um, problems of our time to, to try to, you know, solve. So he created the Nimbus, a three wheeled pod like EV that is part car, part motorbike. Its compact design is to help ease the headaches of parking and traffic congestion for city dwellers in urban areas. I think this is something very different from a car. The Nimbus features two removable batteries that can be charged with an at-home plug or using a traditional EV plug-in. Each charge will get you just about 93 miles. Its compact design is simple, making it pretty easy to use. But that's the point. You know, the philosophy of the vehicle is not something that's like overcomplicated or, or you know uh, luxurious but something that's like just kind of what you need and if that's an extra person well the pod can hold up to two people with a backseat doubling as storage for bags and groceries there's even a luggage rack on the back for larger items and yes there's an app you can lock the vehicle from your phone and it has a personality of its own at times so how does it drive time to take it for a spin This is fun. I'm going to go a little faster. This particular model goes up to 50 miles per hour. And since it's a motorbike meets a car, it does tilt when you turn. But there are plenty of safety features, such as vehicle stability technology, standard driver's airbags, and onboard cameras. And did I mention it's fun to yeah, drive? Just cruising. Gianna Franco, KPIX5. Eyes on the road, girl. Yeah, got to pay attention while you're driving. You know, when I say that it tilts, it just feels like you're kind of on a motorcycle, but it was very safe to drive. Cost about $9,800, so just under 10 grand. You can also rent one for about $200 a month. They hope to offer them as daily rentals as well. They are looking to have them in mass production sometime next year. That was a prototype that I got to take around the Cow Palace. So I don't know, might be a little tough for Costco runs, but definitely would work <laughs> in the city, Amanda. You know